Well, hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com. I've got a really cool little Photoshop tippy thing, but this is more than just a Photoshop tip. This is about really understanding and learning how Photoshop works. So stick with me and I, I promise you'll get something out of this. This is really good stuff. It's just really easy stuff too. So the first thing I want to do is this. I've got this image here. It's, it's an image of, um, well, I did this for a tutorial uh, that I wrote uh, today over on LightroomKillerTips.com on how there is now a Lightroom app for the Apple TV. Okay, so this is a TV that I downloaded. Uh, it's a stock image from Adobe Stock. And what I wanted to do is it looks kind of flat just sitting here. So I wanted to add a shadow under here, a realistic shadow. Now, if I go and choose a, a layer effect like just drop shadow, it's going to look kind of stupid here. Let me just lower the size and you can see it looks kind of dumb. It looks like you're your TV's kind of floating in air, right? I don't want all that shadow and stuff. All I want is a shadow right down here below the stand, all right? So the first little mini tip is this, how to create a layer under the current layer. If you hold the Command key on Mac or Control key on Windows and you click the new layer icon, it creates a new layer below your current one. That's just a mini tip. That's just kind of nothing. It, the good stuff's coming. Okay, let's zoom in. I'm going to zoom in down here and I'm going to build my shadow. So what I use to make a shadow like this would be the pen tool. And even if you've never used the pen tool before, you'll be able to do this because all you're going to do is basically play connect the dots. We're going to start here. Let me get rid of that. We're going to start here and I'm going to kind of draw a line out like that's kind of the same angle as the as that. I'm going to hold the shift key so it draws a straight line back over. I'm going to draw a line over here and a line back there. Right when I get back to where I started, it adds a little circle at the end to say, hey, you've come full circle and it reconnects. Now, you can turn this into a selection by just pressing command return on Mac or control return, uh, excuse me, or control enter on a Windows PC. Now, I could just fill this with black, right, and blur it. And you could say, well, there's your, there's your shadow, right? And, but let's take it up a notch. Let's do this. Instead of just filling it with black, let's get the gradient tool. And let's drag a gradient kind of this way a little bit so it goes from black to gray. So if I pull it out a little bit, you can see. See how it goes from black to gray? All right, so that'll be our shadow. And actually, if I want to go to free transform, I can maybe tuck that in a little bit. So Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows to kind of scale your shadow. Now, of course, you want to soften it. So we're going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, throw a little blur Rooney on it, and then you can lower the opacity if you like, and you've got a nice little shadow there. Now, now that's probably a little, let's move it up a little. I'm using the arrow key on my keyboard, the up arrow, to move the shadow a little closer. Now. That's not the cool part. Here comes the cool part. Let's flatten the image. All right, so we flatten the image. Now, I have another image over here from also used in my tutorial on the Lightroom for Apple TV, but it does not have the drop shadow. So I could go rebuild it and I could select it and all that crud, or I could do this. Watch this. This is better than you think. Let's go grab the stand part of this. Let's just grab a little stand. All right, let's copy it. Standard old copy. Go over here and hit paste. I could do that, and then I can go you know, try to line it up in the right place and all, but forget that. Here's a better way to do it, and this is, I think, the better trick. Um, instead of going under and just choosing Paste, choose Paste Special, and the one you want to choose is called Paste in Place. What this does is, because I took it from a different uh, document, I can paste it in the exact same place in this document. So watch, when I hit Paste, boom! <laughs> it fits in the exact right spot, look! As I toggle it on and off here, it is right where it was on the other document. The two documents are the same size, so paste in place makes it line up perfectly. All I have to do now is flatten, and I'm done. There we go. So a couple little things that I think are kind of cool and helpful. I hope you find them helpful. And if you like Photoshop stuff, and I know you do because you just watched the Photoshop tutorial, go over right now to kelby1.com. Sign up for the free trial. We have over 600 classes on Photoshop and Lightroom and photography and lighting and the Adobe apps. They're all there. You get unlimited access and there are classes there that you won't find anywhere else. There are instructors there you won't find anywhere else. Go check it out. Kelby1.com. You're super going to love it and I'm super loving you for watching this tutorial. Thanks everybody. This is Scott and I'll catch you next time.